Yo, you two, come closer. Check this out. See that right there? Yeah, that? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's hard work. Hard work. That's, that's real hard work. And guess what else? I quit. I gotta tell y'all something. I quit. I'm done with real estate. That's right, you heard me. I quit. I'm done. It's a wrap. I'm done with real estate. Interest rates are crazy high. People want stupid dollars for, you know, a junk house. I'm not trying to catch a fall of knife, you know, in this recession, in this terrible market. It's like, I don't quit real estate, but this is also not clickbait, guys. I did quit. It's just, I quit painting. I came out here today thinking that I was going to paint these ceilings and, uh, man, my shoulders started burning. I'm not even going to lie. Prep these walls so when you are ready to paint, you can just go phew, phew, phew. In theory, see, that's what I was thinking too. And then I was like, ugh, hour and a half in, I give up. Shoulder sore, you know, not for me. This really isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be therapeutic. It's a rainy day. Hey, I'll get in there, you know, listen to some podcasts or some music and just up and down, up and down. Go, phew, 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 go, phew, phew, phew. Hell to the no, no, to the no, no. Man, this shit wasn't it. So um called him, actually I text him. And I said, hey man, I got this other property I need done by such and such date. You know, I know you guys are working on these. Uh, when can you get started? Text me back tomorrow. I got you. My guy. Anyway, so I'm going to have him come through and uh, I'll show you guys kind of the plan and what's going to be happening and why you should listen to yourself and work on your business and not in your business. Um, even if you think it's going to be something fun, it ain't. You know, um, I just remember how much I hate painting. You know, you think it's just a simple up and down, up and down. Go, phew, 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 go, phew, phew, phew. Hell no, it's not. It's a, you got to hold it with this right here, you know, so that gets tired. Then you got to put some pressure up on the ceiling. And then you're extending and the shoulders are hurting. And <sighs> yeah, hell to the no. I quit. Yeah, I give up. I'm done. Uh, so I'd rather shoot this video and tell you guys about this property. So um, let me take you guys around and show you what this property kind of looks like now and then what my plans are to do with it. So right as soon as I get this camera flipped around. All right, so here's what we got. Um, this is the kitchen. These cabinets are actually really nice. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Um, but we're going to paint these suckers white and we're going to swap these out for some new ones. Um, those pulleys and uh, I actually got a guy that I'm willing to do this for the first time I've never done this these countertops you know they're very solid I mean the construction of this wood is good nothing's cracked up here so you could technically just swap this out and or not I mean if you're keeping as a rental it's just how, how do you want to landlord i guess um but i'm swapping this out because i personally know this tenant that's moving in they're going to take care of this place and then i'll have very little to do you know come 15 20 years when i'm actually ready to sell this property which will be the uh windows i'll show you when i get to uh the living room i think the neighbors are over here on this side and they were cutting grass so but anyway new flooring um we're going to take out this uh old maytag um fridge i'll probably toss it up and you know just have it at our warehouse and sell it so when somebody's willing to come by just come on by pick it up same thing with this stove but look at these cabinets man there's literally nothing wrong with this especially for a rental you know we're just going to paint these suckers white again swipe that out and um back to these countertops i'm just going to epoxy these um i got a buddy that i didn't even know um does a lot of residential work and i've been watching his page the last you know month month and a half and i mean he's just getting better and better and his stuff was never bad it was always good looking you know end results so i'm gonna try to epoxy these countertops and see how that turns out you know and take out that um sink look at my little tripod like i'm like i'm a youtuber <sighs> trying to be trying to be um paint all this trim uh, we're gonna, you know, obviously swap all that out so it's nice and purdy. I always do gray um, for my walls and rentals, really even um, flips. Um, so I got a bunch of it here, but I'm honestly thinking of a different color. So if you guys 
got any ideas let me know um i'm not doing greek vanilla so anything but that nothing against that i love it um especially for flips but look at these floors you know not bad these floors are in pretty good condition <laughs> except that right there um yeah i think that can just be scrubbed up and cleaned up yeah see it's still carpet remains um but anyway we're just gonna sand these suckers down refinish them um trim all along um the uh, baseboards and uh, trim around the doors is going to get painted the windows like i was mentioning to you earlier i'm not doing anything with these right now you know when it comes time to sell i will but these are old windows so i'll get those swapped out after collecting some more cash flow and letting this property do its beautiful thing and appreciate and all that stuff um so a trick with these guys a lot of times you don't have to replace these you can just you know take them off the wall and just uh spray them you know you got aluminum and metal spray cans and turns out great um same thing with that register right there you know do the same thing this one may replace i don't know there's definitely some yuck on there some guck maybe even rust but my eyes are bad so i'm not gonna bend down and you know take a look that'll be something i'll have my contractor take a look at all these uh built-in cabinets too we're just going to paint those white put new pulleys on all this trim all the doors painted you know floors refinished um not that much it's, it's a it's a quick little turn that i just wasn't prepared to do anymore you know in theory it sounded like it was easy so next time you you know have the idea that hey okay i'll just go and paint you know early on i would have um absolutely but you know as your business grows your time is definitely needed elsewhere and there are a few things right off the top of my head right now that i know i could have done today but i was procrastinating just because i was like oh i'm gonna come in here i'll do it myself and um you know listen to some music or podcast just have a cool little chill day uh it's raining here in ohio so what better to do let's do a a painter's um fit check damn you see that paint on my face right there you see that that's hard work for the day baby like the camera rig too trying to trying to do things right and give you guys high quality resolution so yeah that's pretty much it um once it's done i'll show you guys what it's going to look like you know this is a great rental in the neighborhood that houses are you know 185 225 um i bought this for 77 um it was a family that was living here you know three brothers parents ended up passing and they were all in trades one was a a plumber the other one did something else and the other one did something else and i bought this off the plumber um you know got a deal that's why they say you buy real estate and wait you do not wait to buy real estate because this seventy-seven thousand dollar investment it just turned into you know tens of thousands of dollars of equity even as is you know it's not the prettiest condition it is but it's also not bad at all i mean this house is very sturdy very solid um all the mechanicals work great you know they definitely kept up with this uh do want to show you the basement it's also got a uh two car detached garage just just a solid house in a in a good neighborhood um bear with me i broke and dislocated my ankle back in january it is the end of september now so it's been a minute but just a you know decent unfinished basement that you know maybe when it does come time to sell like i said 10 15 years whatever i'll uh do something with it but until then let it get paid down by the tenant i hate saying that word i like saying resident instead um you know refinance it maybe at some point again if the rates change you know newer hot water tank damn um another you know shower and uh, toilet down here so there's already some plumbing down that can definitely add value later on but yeah just extra storage space you know three bed i guess two bath but i'm just gonna say three one for now um yeah I like this baby i was real happy to get this because this street is uh on a cul-de-sac and i own 16 yeah 16 rentals in this neighborhood right now in this exact pocket like well, off of one street you know maybe two on another street three on another one here one there 
um, but I always, always wanted something on this property or on this street right here. And uh, I did it. So, all right, guys, I'll uh, show you what the end result looks like when um, we are finished and uh, probably along the way as well. Not much at all. You guys are knocking this out. There's a cool little spot back here. If you come through these little woods, uh, I had a tenant in here actually two over the years, but now I'm finally uh, renovating it um, completely and pull some money out. Even with these rates that are, you know, this crazy, um, it pays to buy real estate and wait and not wait and buy real estate. But you jump through Narnia, guys, and you got this whole little boxed in, fenced in section where, you know, you can play cornhole and I don't know, whatever you want to do, have a little fire back here and it's away from everybody. So just keeping you guys posted on this project and uh, hope you like it. Deuce.